Hey everybody, Pretty and Flawed here. So, of course, I went to Dollar Tree and I wanted to come and show you guys what I picked up. Um, some of it is Christmas related. Well, most of it is Christmas related and some of the other stuff is just household related. So, um, I was hoping to find some new makeup products, but the only thing I found was some nails and I will get to that and I'll show you that. But first, let me sh start off by showing you this super cute snowman and he has a hook right here for your stocking and it's flat so you know it just sits on the uh wherever you want to put it at on the fireplace on a table on the counter wherever not on a table but on the counter but on the edge of something and you put your stocking right here to hang it and i had two of these um there was other patterns like uh santa claus and i had a reindeer one and it broke on the way home so I have to go back and get another one these are for the little ones in the house but I just really like this and he's really sparkly can you see that he's really sparkly so I did pick that one up and then this one I picked up to give to my mom and I just think that's really pretty and I have a picture there was some other words like Noel and you know some other stuff but I'll put that picture on Instagram and there's the hook right here for you to hang your stocking on um, and I just think this is really really cute I would have got one for myself if it was in gold <laughs> but um, my mom I also will like picked this. up these super cute cups oh my goodness it's a hard plastic usually you see these cups and they're usually like a ceramic or porcelain type of a a cup but these are really hard plastic and I like the pattern on that with the peppermints and the candy canes and everything and then you have the ribbed you know plastic thing around the um, side and this one has the Santa Clauses on there the gifts and all of that and it's just super cute the tops are not um, silicone like you know the cups that we would buy like from Starbucks or somewhere else but the one what I like about this cup is that it actually kind of twists off it's not just I was kind of concerned because if it just popped on I was gonna be worried that it was just gonna you know kind of come off um, but you put this on and you kind of twist it just a small twist and they stay on so these are awesome they finally had the snowman cups at the store that I went to and I was excited about getting these I was I want I was I really wanted one of these <laughs> So I picked up two because they were not at Dollar Tree last year. I didn't see these. And I'm just happy that they finally came down. These cups, I don't know if you can tell by the by the picture or in the camera, but these cups are big. This is not your regular size coffee mug. I mean, it's, it's really, really big on the inside. And I really like the little faces on them. So, and the nose kind of pokes out. So um, I had to grab two of these. And I know that there are some other cups that they brought but i haven't seen them yet and once i do i'm sure i'm gonna grab one because i know there's some that has snoopy on them and everything like that that all the ladies are finding but i haven't been able to find those yet so i went ahead and picked up the cute little snowman cups. the other two cups that i grabbed were these cute little um like mason jar cups and i got one for pooh bear and one for my daughter just to have just because i think they're cute and the straw stays in there and it just has a snowflake and this uh -oh, and the snowman right here so i grabbed these you guys know i love socks so i had to there was so many to choose from i didn't want to go crazy with the socks because i still have tons of christmas socks from last year and all of that but i had to get these and this is the santa claus going down the chimney and i just really think that's cute how the bottom part looks like snow even though it's for the toe i thought those these I picked up for my daughter. I think these are adorable. It's the penguin and on the bottom it says chill and she has on a pom-pom hat and I just think those are super cute. And the last pair I picked up, these are not ankle socks. They go a little bit higher than that but it's just the reindeer with the hearts and I just like the colors on this, the gray, white, and the red. So I did pick her up these. I had a lot of little ornaments and I did post them on uh, Instagram. Uh, they had uh, figurines from out of the bible if you want to see those go ahead and uh, you know what i'll add it at the end of this video don't even worry so at the end of my video i will add some pictures of some of the stuff that i had already put on instagram but anyways they had rudolph the red nosed reindeer and they did also have these other characters as well but i only picked up rudolph um i'm thinking about trying to do some kind of project with just this one so we'll see how that works but i picked that up 
And then also they had some cute little stuffed animals. And I did get the little penguin. And I think he is so adorable. So cute. Now I just need a little bit of help with this one. <laughs> okay you guys. I'm not sure if this is a Christmas bear. Or is he a monkey? You be the judge of that. And leave it down below. Let me know. Because when I looked at him. I just really couldn't tell by the nostrils at the top. I would say a monkey. But um, I don't know. So tell me what you think in the comments below. If this is a monkey or a bear. Also every, every time they bring these out. I get these and I love these for Christmas. I love these like wall decals. Uh, that you can put on uh, any wall that you want. And they stay really good. Because I use these every year. Um, this one is the penguin family. And it says Season of Joy. Like that. Those are so cute. And then this one is the Snowman Family. And it says Let It Snow. Just like that. So these work really, really good, you guys. Um, the kids really like when I put these on the wall around the house, you know, for them to, you know, see these. And we really get into the Christmas spirit around here, I'm trying to tell you. Plus, one of my son's birthday is in December. So, you know, he loves the house to look really Christmassy. So, so I picked up um, this tin can with the clear top right here. And when my daughter makes some cookies, we decided that she's going to you know decorate them put them in here we're going to tie a bow on top and give these to grandma um homemade cookies for grandma and i think it's super cute because they have the little fox and the owl on it right there with the snowman and just super cute did pick up a lot of stickers you guys there's duplicates of the one sticker um so let me show you which ones those are um okay first of all let me show you the cute little christmas trees that i grabbed and those are so pretty i love those and then i grabbed the snowman that look like that now this one i grabbed duplicates of and i'll explain why and it's this one right here do you see the little brown snowman face i love that i love that last year they had what did they have at dollar tree oh i found the pair of socks that had santa claus's face on them and it looked like his face was brown like you know so of course i bought those and this year i just think this is so cute get a closer look at that look at his face yes he is brown he is an african-american snowman i mean uh santa claus so of course i had to get that and I went a little crazy and I bought all that they had. So I think right now I have about four or five packs of these. And um, yeah, if I don't use them all this year, they will definitely be used um, for years to come. This tapestry placemat. And it's really, really nicely made. I'm really loving that fabric. Um, and that's the picture that I picked up. They did have a few more pictures, but this was the only one that I wanted to grab. So I grabbed that. And then I also grabbed um, a kitchen towel just for decoration. I do not use the towels to pull anything out the oven. I've spoken on this before. Um, the towels to me are made kind of thin. So if you use this to pull something out the oven and it's extremely hot, your hands will feel like they're burning. <laughs> so I only really use these around for decoration. So I picked up that one. They had some really beautiful um you know plates and stuff like that so i did pick up the plate of set of plates and a set of bowls and i picked up duplicates but i'm only showing you the one so this one is white and um it looks like a gold it's not silver it's definitely not silver but it's just like a lighter gold and you guys know i had to have that these are beautiful so i picked those up and then i picked up the matching bowls there was also another bowl that didn't have the snowflake in the middle and around the rim of the bowl it was like a gold light gold sort of like this line around this plate right here so i grabbed those and picked up a few of these gold plates as well to set out and these can be used not only for thanksgiving but for also for christmas to go with the other bowls and plates that i picked up so i did get this and this one is not um ceramic or anything like that it's uh just a plastic plate but i love these and they're really large so i did get a couple of those as well 
placemats I picked up. I'll show you one. Um, I did pick up these. And it's like a cream type of a gold color. And it does have a pattern in it. Looks like that. And these are really nicely made, I believe. They're really, really thick. And so, of course, I picked up uh, about six of these. So, Okay, so I grabbed this garden dish. It's technically for garden, like the garden. But it's a really thick plastic. And I like the shape of it. And you can put rocks and stuff down in here. Put succulents or whatever. But I'm just really going to use this to fill with peppermint candies or some kind of candy. It's really nice because it looks like a, you know, like a glass candy bowl. But it's the hard plastic. And I won't be so nervous around the kids um, knocking over the glass bowl or whatever since it will be left out on a table. So that is why I grabbed this garden dish for a candy bowl that I'm actually going to be trying the Miracle Nail Nail Hardener. It says turns weak, thin, splitting, and peeling nails into hard, healthy nails. I'm going to go ahead and I've seen this before plenty of times, but I've never tried it, so I'm going to go ahead and give that a try. Now, these nails, new packs of nails that I'm going to show you, these are the patterns that um, have popped up. I love those. Look at those. They do not look like Dollar Tree nails. I love, love, love these for the fall. This is like a flower pattern and it's like a dark burgundy. So pretty. I was so happy to find those. I bought multiples of those. These are black on black. So there's a pattern on the nail that's like, so the nail is more like a matte and then you have like a shiny pattern on top of it. So those are black on black. And then these are black and white like crackle like yeah perfect I love those and then I picked up some more of the ones that I'm actually wearing right now those are really nice I was so happy like I said to find those um, and I know I get asked a lot what kind of glue <laughs> do I use um, for my nails and I use the one from Dollar Tree um, there's two different kinds there's the one that comes in a pack with the small one uh, just one single glue and then there's the one that says I think it says something like pink nail glue and it's two skinny ones in a pack I don't use that one I use the one that comes individually and then if I don't use the Dollar Tree brand I'll go to my local CVS or Rite Aid or whatever and I'll just get a small bottle of Kiss nail glue and I use that they last for a long time I literally have to peel these off sometimes so then I picked up this this two pack of hair scrunchies it's just a black one and a brown one and they look like that so I grabbed those because I, I, I love hair scrunchies and then they had some um, head wraps that I thought was really pretty um, this one is mainly why I bought it. It comes with the three. So you get this one with the glitter on it. This plain brown one right here. And then this one would be so cute. Even like with how my hair is right now. I could have thrown this around the front. and Or even across the top right here. And I just really like this brown pattern. This other one I picked up. It's the same exact thing. Except for the pattern and the colors look like that. It's more like a blue and an orange. And I thought these colors were nice for this time of the year. Uh, with it being fall and everything. So I picked up both packs of those. I also grabbed a thermal conditioner cap. I like these. It's time for me to deep condition my hair. And then I picked up this wrap cap. Um, I usually get the stocking caps from there that I wear under wigs. And I do have a bonnet. I like the bonnet as well. I've never bought the wrap cap. And it looks like you put it on and you can tie it like it's long enough to tie. So I'm going to go ahead and try this out as well. Always get these. Um, so I picked up two more of the oil-free night moisturizer facial cream. And um, if you guys do not use this, like after you take a shower or done washing your face... Um, you know how sometimes your face can feel a little dry. I use this. I love this product. Oh my goodness. Like this is an awesome moisturizer. So at nighttime, this one is the nighttime. They do have day. But um, this is the one I really, really use at night after my shower. And I just put a little bit on my face. And I feel really moisturized after using that. And I really don't need the day one in the morning. So I don't really use that one. I just do the nighttime one. Okay, you guys we're almost finished we're almost to the end so then I picked up these Mickey Mouse Clubhouse paper cups and there's 36 of them in here and these will be to go in the bathroom for the kids of course when brushing their teeth or whatever so I did grab those this comet with bleach I love anything with bleach in it and I've never had the lavender scent so I went ahead and grabbed that 
they have these heavy duty storage bags and they come in different sizes it says large extra large or double xl so i was able to pick up the large which has three bags in here and then i also picked up the extra large and it has two bags in there and i'll be using these when um i'm cleaning out you know like just going through stuff and i need to just store some stuff away and they do come with the handle so i haven't opened these to see how durable they are but i'm sure eventually i'll do a review or let you guys know what i think about these I had some really cute canvas art poster sets so i picked up two it says color your own art color your own work of art and these are actually really thick canvas like little thingies so i grabbed this and this has like the fish on it and i think this is nice um i got these for my my daughter to go ahead and paint um, I might paint this one and she might do this one. I really like this one with the little monsters on it. And I love all the little designs, the swirls and stuff. This will be fun to paint. Um, although they do include paints inside of here, I think uh, we're just going to use our own paint. Um, I'm going to see how this paint is and I'm going to go get some different brushes because the Dollar Tree brushes don't, they're not all that great, um, honestly. For kids, yeah, but she's a little older so, um, and she's really like into drawing and coloring and stuff. So I'm going to get her some better paint brushes and some different paint. And we're going to paint these together. And um, yeah, so I like those. So I picked those up. I grabbed her this little file folder that says uh, Free Spirit for her to put in her little school uh, folder. And it does come with the three holes on it. And it has the pockets on the inside. So I picked that up because I like what it says grabbed another pack of glue sticks and there's 20 of them in here and they work good i mean there's nothing wrong with these so i grab these whenever i find them here they brought the tea out well i know i've seen it last year with the blueberry and cranberry and there was different ones so this time i went ahead and picked up the peach and passion and then i also grabbed the lemon and mint tea uh, i like these i can say i didn't really care for the blueberry one last year i just wasn't into blueberry tea so i'm gonna see how these are um especially that peach the peach one to see if last but not least i did um they're still frozen because i threw them in the freezer um but i picked up a bag of sliced peaches and these are good um, when you let them thaw out. You can use this for a lot of different things. And then I also picked up um, a bag of mixed berries. And it comes with uh, blueberries and strawberries in it. And I, I like these. Uh, my son makes a lot of smoothies. And it's 12 ounces. So I grab both of those. So that's it for this haul, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm still looking for a few things at the Dollar Tree. Haven't been able to stumble across them, but you guys know I will go back. And once I do, whatever I haul, I'll be back to show you guys what goodies I picked up. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed this. Like I said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. 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 <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed uh share and comment below uh, i i love all comments and i'll talk to you guys later bye